Hey guys, it's Heather. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all of my tips and tricks for keeping a clean and organized house. My first tip is to designate a cleaning day. So put on your calendar the day you plan on cleaning that week or if it's ever two weeks or whatever works for you and your family and commit to that day. Now for my family, we always do Saturdays for the most part. It's just easy. My husband and I can both contribute and make the cleaning go smoother and easier. When you have it nailed down on the calendar, you know that there's no excuses and that you will get the cleaning done. Now on top of designating a specific cleaning day, also designate the chores. So maybe you're responsible for cleaning the downstairs, someone else is responsible for cleaning the upstairs, or maybe you want to split your cleaning up. So if you have two stories, maybe you do the downstairs on Wednesdays and you do the upstairs on Saturdays. Just figure out what works the best for you and stick to it. My next tip is to declutter frequently. And when I mean frequently, I'm talking just every day. If you see something and you're like, why do I even have this? Or if you're in the kitchen, you open up a drawer, you're cooking, you see you have three spatulas, you see you have way too many things, take it out, don't hang on to it. When you have less stuff, you will have less stuff to clean, to maintain, to put away, etc. My third tip is to have a designated spot in your house for everything. And I mean everything in your house. You should know where it goes and it should have its own home. And if you have a bunch of clutter hanging around and you never put it away, you don't know where it goes, maybe you don't need it. So maybe it's time to declutter it. My next tip is something that is very challenging for me. It definitely has to be something that becomes a habit. You come in from a long day, you're tired, you toss your coat on the couch, maybe you throw your bag or you just, you know, you bring the mail in, you leave it on the counter. Instead of waiting, put things away right away. As soon as you come in, take your coat off, put it away in the coat closet. Put your bag down, put it away where your bag goes. Mail, go through your mail sort it, take care of it, any boxes, get rid of them right then and there. Don't wait, because if you wait, you're gonna have a stack of things and it becomes overwhelming. My next tip to make your house appear more clean and organized is to keep countertops and tables, all surfaces clean from clutter. And this has a lot to do with, with the tips that I had just mentioned before, as everything has a spot and to handle everything. As soon as you bring it in, as soon as you set it down, don't set it down, put it away where it needs to go. Deal with it right then and there. If you practice this for like a week or so, it will become a habit and it will get easier. So my next tip is that less is more. So less stuff means less clutter, less cleaning, less everything. The less you have, the less you have to clean and take care of. I have really been trying to keep my decor more simple, um, less tchotchkes, anything that you have to just little things that are kind of on your mantle or wherever, you have to constantly dust, you have to constantly keep up with it. It becomes a lot. Same with toys, less toys, less clothes, and go through everything, what you're not loving, what you don't use, just get rid of it. I like to practice the one in, one out rule with pretty much everything. For example, in the kitchen, if I get a new dish set, then my old dish set would need to be disposed of or donated, same with clothes. So challenge yourself to the one in, one out rule. Tip number seven really, really helps cut down on the mopping that I have to do. I feel like now, well, because I have dogs, I like to do the Swiffer every week, but if I didn't, I would probably only have to do it every other week and this is leaving your shoes at the door. This way you're not tracking in germs, you're not tracking in dirt. It's really gonna cut down on that cleaning and how much cleaning that you are gonna have to do. One thing that I implemented at my house is in my garage, I have a little shoe basket where as soon as you come in, you put your shoes in that basket. When I see the basket, it cues me, okay, take off my shoes. It really keeps everything simple and organized. Tip number eight, I will do some vacuuming during the week. I do have dogs. If your kid spills something, if you're cooking, your kitchen gets a mess, there's crumbs on the floor, or if you just need to do some spot cleaning with the vacuum. I love my Dyson stick vacuum. It is amazing. It's so quick, so easy. I can just quickly vacuum what I need to vacuum and get on with my day. And another thing I love is my robotic vacuum. I will link the one I have down below. I like to run it like every couple of days. I just turn it on for a couple hours. It's mindless and it just really helps your house look just so spotless, so clean, especially if you have dogs, this is a lifesaver. 
I have two more tips to mention. Tip number nine is to load and do the dishes as you go. So typically at night, I like to run the dishwasher. Sometimes it will be in the morning. It just kind of all depends. But when it's full, we run it. When there's dishes in the sink, we immediately put them into the dishwasher. We don't like to leave anything in the sink. We like to take care of it right then and there. Same thing, as soon as the dishwasher is done, unload those dishes, get them put away. Otherwise, they will sit on your counter all week long. And another tip with the dishes, what works for us in this house is I do all the laundry mostly, and then my husband does all the dishes. So he is responsible for loading and putting away the dishes, and I'm responsible for doing the laundry. Now, of course, there are days when I help out with the dishes and vice versa, but it really helps to kind of split up chores if you can. So my last and final tip today is to do one load of laundry every day. Basically, it's going to be the laundry never stops, but it will be more manageable because you will only be folding one load at a time. You won't be sitting there folding like five loads at a time. It's just so much easier to keep up with if you can just get one load done a day. So those are all my favorite tips and tricks. I have a whole playlist dedicated to cleaning and organizing videos. I will add them in the cards up above here and I will also link my playlist down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye guys.